hello friends and welcome back once again to the channel uh, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to practice and draw this basic 2d drawing in autocad if today is your first time of visiting the channel kindly subscribe so that you don't miss any video i post and also if you have any question and leave it in the comment section like the video share it to your friends and then let's all learn together okay so we are doing this video for absolute beginners those who are now willing to learn autocad okay so let's see how we are going to draw this thing in autocad to the drawing now first of all you need to get the dimensions right and when you get the dimensions it's easy to draw so when we look at this height of the drawing you can see 70 right and then the gap here is six millimeters we are working millimeters six and then the distance from here to the center is 12.5 the total length is 25 all right so i would like us to start from this place so let's open the autocad pick line command click anywhere then you just enter 70 for the vertical line which is this one okay so from here i'm going to draw a straight line that is 57 to the center so just pick line locate the center of this line then drag and just enter 57 okay now let's consider these circles there are two circles here one the bigger one and then this inner one so the bigger one is having a diameter this is the diameter of 59 from the center okay so pick center diameter click here enter 59 good now the smaller one diameter of 28 so the same center diameter enter 28 all right now we need to draw this you see there's an arc here which is giving radius 16 but this arc is drawn with a distance of 38 i don't know if you can see it so for beginner's sake let's do something i'll just pick a line and then just vertical make sure the line is vertical with this green tracking line enter 38 okay now move it just select the line you can use the shortcut m for move or you can come here but i'll use the shortcut m so move now select the center of the line and put it here good so now i'm going to draw a circle with radius of 16 okay so you can pick center radius now this is my center so you locate the end point of the line that you drew and then the radius is 16 so we just enter 16 and then automatically see it will come here all right so there's another arc here radius 32 so for us to do that just select circle and select tan tan radius click here click here then enter 32 and see an arc is going to form so let's trim trim this one trim here trim here good so now if you watch carefully we are having uh, this side done now we are going to mirror so let's select this and this okay click mirror locate the center and then just click now it will ask you do you want to erase this source object that is the first one just click no and that is it so now we have this one done now uh, let's deal with this over here then we move to this part so you can see the difference here is six right so I'll select now you can delete this line but we will use it to so select this line I'll move it instead of deleting I'll move it to my right side six to pick this uh, distance right okay so now I have it here now I will offset it 25 so let me just offset select click offset 
enter 25 and then move in this direction that is fine now you can see this uh, line the distance is 12 so I'll use offset again so offset and then enter 6 now move up move down then you have your 12 okay so now we are going to do trimming let's trim the wanted lines we don't need them okay we can delete these ones all right so now you can easily see this is done now there's a circle which is having a diameter of 16 okay so pick center diameter locate the center is 16 and then we can trim furthermore so trim all right we can even delete this line now we have this thing done now let's move to this side of the work now if you watch carefully you can easily see this line here now this is located in between this quadrant okay here and here so for beginners sake i'll just do this thing pick a line locate the center just drag down somewhere you can just give it a dimension let's say 40 and then move to this direction also let me do it from the center here so that you understand so from here also you can move 40 any distance at all now we need to find the center okay so just pick a line then click the center bring it here don't click just drag bring it here as well just drag you get a center and then you just click all right so the angle now form here will be 45 we can check to see if you want to be sure now you see it's 45 good now with this 45 we need to you see the total distance is 9.5 so with a 9.5 when we divide let's try and divide the 9.5 by 2 and we are getting um 9.5 you are getting 4.75 so you just offset this so let's go to offset and then enter 4.75 okay now pick this line move up and move down good now we have it now we can delete this and this they are no more needed good now let's see something from the center here to this point is 55 so let's use a straight line from the center is 55 good so and at the 55 we have a line 38 all right so let's just draw a straight line 38 millimeters now we can move it let's move to this point good and now let's see the distance from here to here is 12.5 okay so pick line the shortcut for line is l so if i'm not picking from here i'm just entering l so from here drag 12.5 enter then come down come here just click and click good now if you watch there's another line here which the distance is six so i'll use offset pick this one select offset and then i'll enter six then i'll move in this direction all right i just don't want to draw too many lines so there's another one this line 22 okay so i'll just offset this line 11 up 11 down so offset I'll enter 11 
down, select this line, move up, and move down. Now I can trim this line. Let me trim this line and this line. Okay. So I'll delete this one. Good. Now, if you watch, there's another one over here, which is 11. So with 11, I also offset this one, 5.5. So offset. Enter 5.5. Enter. I'll pick this up. Pick this one. Bring it down. Now let's trim. So the shortcut for trim is TR. I normally like using shortcut. You can equally also find it here. Okay, so I'll just trim this line and this line, and I can delete this and this. All right. So from here, you can see we have this. So let trim this and this this as well good so from here you can see we are almost getting closer so I'll just extend this line to meet this again extend this to meet this line over here and now there's a fillet radius of 6 so I'll just pick fillet click radius here enter 6 because that's what is given here so I'll just select this line and this and you see I have it done now if you watch carefully uh, I have to extend this arc right so just use the shortcut X E X for extend or you can pick it from here so I'll just choose this one Okay, so it's not working. So let's see what we can do. All right, so it's really not working. So what I'm going to do is I'll just draw the circle again, and the radius was I think uh, let's see. The diameter was 56. Okay, so circle. Oh, no. let's see what's happened it's 59 rather right? sorry so let's delete this one 59 good so we can basically trim this one and this one and we can delete this one okay okay so now you see we need to do some trimming here so let's trim uh trim this trim this and then this one okay we can delete this one this one as well all right so you can see we're getting closer now here is done here is done almost everything it's nice with now let's add a center line so to add a center line it's easy just go to the properties here the line properties okay order load and then pick a center line I will choose this one okay then select it okay I'll change it from here and select the center line okay now pick line then okay you can use this one as your center line now i want to change the thickness of the work so i'll just select line width over here but i don't want this one to be thick as the work so select this one right click go to properties and change the line width for this center line okay all right so now I have to dimension my work. To do that, I just create a layer for it. So let me go to layer properties, create a new layer, and give it a name. Then 
change the color to this and then the line width i'll change it to 0 0.25 which is okay for me then close it now make sure your dim layer is active okay so let's start with the dimensioning process because i think we are done we have to dimension away okay so i'll pick linear dimension this side you see the line is still showing that of the center line so just go to the properties layer properties and change it over here that is the line type all right so pick this one come here change it to continuous okay good and change it to continuous all right so um let's continue linear let's dimension here and here 12 again center of the two circles 38 all right position as well and then uh, linear again for the total 25 linear once more from here to here I think uh, the center to this point is 6 good pick linear once more and then from here to here center It's uh, 57. Okay. Now let's see. We need to dimension this. Okay, so let's let's dimension the arc. So with the arc, pick radius for this point 16, radius for this point 32. And then we pick our diameter for this bigger circle, and then the inner one as well. Good 28. Now let's pick linear for this to this point, which is 55. Linear again in dimension here 12.5 6 11 22 yeah and 38 let's dimension the overall 38 good so now remaining this uh, let's dimension this arc which is uh, radius from here 6 now let's pick a line and then dimension this part 9.5 good so watch basically uh, down this one the diameter Which is 16 all right so basically watch everything that is supposed to be done is done and then we are also done with the dimensioning now if you don't want to understand anything just uh, write me in the comment section below and then I will take my time and attend to your question please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any question that you want us to solve leave it in the comment section below and then I'll attend to it. Thank you all for watching and see you in my next tutorial.